Hey everybody, Nick here, and today we got a uh, disassembly video for you of this little guy right here. This is the Tactile Turn Bear, or Bexer, or Behar, or something along those lines. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and take it apart. And by the way, I'm using a different driver than usual. This is uh, by Makar Knives and Tools. It's uh, sent to me by Polish Custom Knives. Just checking it out. It is... Much more expensive than the knife I'm working on and with it, uh, but uh, it's a really cool sculpture, right? So, you know, just curious about uh, how, how this is going to work out in the end. Fortunately, it looks like I need a little bit more torque, although I should try the other side of this. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more torque than that's going to give me. Probably a little bit of thread locker on there. So let's go on ahead and take out a... Uh, I bet that's T8... I'm going to see if I can do it from this side here. Uh, we coming apart here? Okay, that one's coming loose. Easy peasy. Good. Pardon Discord going crazy over there. Why are you not wanting to come loose? Are you free spinning is my next question I have. Maybe. Ah, that is indeed free spinning. Okay, there's my issue. Wow, somebody is lighting me up on Discord right now. Yikes. All right, let's try this a little bit further. Um, hopefully, once I get that in there, that should stabilize the other side. And now allow me to get in here. There we go. Looks like we're making making progress now there we go good so that had a little too much thread locker on there i feel like or it was just over tightened or something but either way that was not ideal so uh what we can go on ahead and do then is uh finish taking this guy apart i'm gonna admit I'm a little afraid right now. What I'm afraid of is anytime you have a slip joint, a uh, sort of knife that is disassemblable, it can be very difficult to re-get everything back in here because the back spring is under pressure. I'm sort of hoping that I'm going to be benefited by the fact that the pressure is relatively weak right at the onset, basically, of the, uh, of the pull, and so it won't cause too much in the way of trouble, but it is something I'm a little worried about. And by the way, if you're curious about this little iFixit bar here or any of the other tools I'm using, go ahead and check out nickshabazz.com slash tools and you will see a link and a list of everything I'm using on a regular basis in my disassemblies. Okay, so I got that side popped out. Uh, let's get this other side. Yeah, there we go. And now it's just a question of sort of sliding this top part the rest of the way off here. Yeah, there may be an additional pin or two along the back here that I got to think about, but it shouldn't be anything that needs to be unscrewed or anything. Yeah, okay, there's one pin right there. There's another pin right there. I'm looking through and I can see, yeah, see right there. So I just need to be a little cautious as I pop everything loose here. There we go. We're making progress here. I'm just very gently slipping this tool along the inside of the edge here, and that's just going to slowly separate things away. There we go. Slow and steady wins the race here, as in all things, with disassembly. Okay, almost there. Beautiful. I think I should be about set now. Okay. Okay. So at this point in time, there's just something... Oh, it's just that pin is sort of still in place. All right, whatever. Come on. To be fair, this is a slip joint. There's not all that much reason to do a full cleanup and disassembly for it. Uh, because, well, honestly, you don't super need to most of the time. There we go. Because uh, all you've really got in here, and by the way, you can see that you can remove this lanyard non-destructively. I am actually keeping the lanyard on this knife. And some of you may be like, oh my God, Nick, God, are you okay? <laughs> are you under duress? Um, but no, I am I am not under duress. I am okay. Um, oh yeah, this is very light. That's easy. Uh, without that extra pin there, this is a very, very light pull. Although getting that pin back in place might turn out to be difficult. 
But anyways, um, I'm keeping the lanyard on there because I've been carrying this guy in a pocket slip because it is so very thin. Uh, and so the lanyard has been helping with retrieval from the slip. So, you know, gone to the other side briefly. But anyways, uh, what we see here is uh, a pretty substantial burr on the titanium. This little collar there you can see sticking up off of there. You grab at that with a pair of tweezers and just kind of break it loose. Yeah, there we go. That's a deburred now. Excellent. Uh, and can I remove this back part too? I can. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Oh, these line uh, the the washers here are actually inset into the handle to make this. Look at this. Okay, hold on. Back up. Beep. 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 One of the things that often makes disassemblable slip joints a little bit more problematic is that it's very difficult to get everything flush. You end up with major gaps everywhere. Whereas what they've done here is they've milled a little pocket, basically, into the handle of the knife here for this phosphor bronze washer to sit into. And so as a result, uh, I don't really need to clean behind there, I guess. Um, but as a result, it's very, very easy to uh, get everything seated so that the blade is just, you know, the knife is almost as thin as the blade. That is a little detail, but it is a cool detail. And what it means is, well, the knife is thinner than it would have otherwise been, and that's great. I'm, I appreciate that in a big way. Um, that's a sign, yet another sign that Tactile Turn gives a damn here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Q-tip and just get in the bottom here. Yeah, so the whole thing's running on uh, phosphor bronze washes, which is great and super smooth. I'm going to be real with you. I like this knife a lot. Um, I'm not usually a big slip joint guy, um, but this is doing a lot of really good things right uh, as far as slip joints go. Going ahead, well, frankly, as far as modern knives go, it's doing a lot of things right too. But nonetheless, I have been very impressed here. And hopefully this disassembly isn't going to change my mind. Sure wish those screws weren't free-spinning. That's a little detail, but... I've been carrying this guy actually a fair amount, even ahead of writing the review, uh, and ahead of the disassembly, just because I've been busy as heck and haven't had time to do much else. But anyways, so this has got a lot more pocket time than usual, and I gotta say, it's it's good. I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna use some 10-weight knife pivot lube right here. I'm sorry, 10-weight. Um, <laughs> the reason I said that is that I now have two, there are two flavors of knife pivot lube. Uh, they're, they're not flavored, don't eat them, kids. But there's KPL Heavy and Ultra Light. This corresponds uh, to, to, to something I, I would often have used 10-weight nano oil for in the past. Although with bearing action knives, I tend to actually find that the KPL works a little tiny bit better. Um, I'm sorry, uh, washer action, not bearing. So uh, there is that. There we go. We've got that. Now, next thing I'm going to do is slide on this, and I'm going to go on ahead, and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of the KPL along the side of this. Just so that that way that goes freely. Next thing I'm going to do, God, this pin doesn't feel like it wants to leave this side, and I'm kind of disinclined to make it do so. So I'm going to go on ahead and put that there. I'll drop this into position here. Now my goal here is actually going to be aligning this pin. is probably going to be the harder part than anything. Uh, and then on the other side here, I'll put down a little bit more in the way of lubrication. That way we should be all set here. And so my goal is going to be to align that pin so that it goes all the way through the knife. Uh, there's also a stop pin there that I need to make sure goes home. Uh, and that's really my biggest concerns. Oh, I should also put the lanyard back in place. Uh, that way I don't have to dick with that. Okay. So now... There's a slight chamfer on the tip of this pin that I'm hoping will make my life easier getting it back into place. Uh, but it just, it will still probably require a little bit of manipulation, and my goal here is not to put a lot of force on it, but just to kind of fiddle back and forth a little bit, and eventually it should find its way home is my dream, right? But, uh, do I have much trouble here? Oh, I should clean this out while I'm cleaning things. 
There we go. But yeah, so my goal is just to kind of get everything snapped back into position here. Luckily, the blade doesn't, isn't really interacting with the pin that, ow, did I really just poke myself with the tip of that knife? I sure did. Damn, I'm good. All right. Well. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you know what's funny is I've actually kept one of these guys in my drawer next to my knife disassembly kit for a long time and have never actually needed it. But here we go. Uh, and by the way, it's just a little tiny thing, but I figure it's safer than sorry, and some folks don't want to see blood on camera. So, wow, that was dumb of me. People be better than me. Anyways, back at the ranch. We'll go on ahead. Wow. You should really demand better. <laughs> As viewers, you should do this. You should ask for more from your reviewers. I'm going to try this a slightly different way. Since this pin needs to interact, go all the way through that backspacer, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to put it in the spacer first. I'm going to see if that makes my life any different or better or worse. That way, I, I'm only going to really be pushing this pin into the scale on the other side here. Make sure I don't do the same damn thing again. There we go. All right, so now everything is pushed into position here. All the bearings are in place, or I'm sorry, the washers are in place. That's good. Stop pin is in place. Now I need to lock everything back down. I feel like I kind of want to squish on this a little bit more here. The very first time I cut myself into disassembly is from doing something that dumb. Wow. Damn, I'm good. Uh, to be fair, after I uh, finish this up, I'll go... Uh, actually, why do I have to wait? I got rubbing alcohol right here, right? Uh, but anyways, I will go uh, to just sanitize that real quick and put a little bit of uh, your Neosporin on there. I prefer that to the Oldosporin um, because it is the one... Wow, how's that for weird references? But anyways... There is a very good school of thought that would say that I need to, or I should be, taping the blade for every disassembly. I generally don't, because I'm generally better than this, but today I wasn't, and that's okay. We're all human, and not a whole lot of harm was done there, right? It's a sharp knife, it'll heal up quickly. All right, uh, the other side here, I just need to screw in these two guys, and I'm going to go on ahead, and again, I'm going to use a little bit of thread locker. i got to say, disassembly is very, has been very easy here, all the bleeding aside. Um, <laughs> God, I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, but, but aside from that, everything's been um, pretty straightforward here. I was a little bit afraid, but all it took was a little bit of finesse in that guy back into place there. Okay, this is not, this is spinning freely again. I'm going to go on ahead and just stash this blade. It's bit me once already. I know it's willing to do it again. I really wish this weren't free spinning. That's a little thing, but it's a thing that drives me a little wild. All right. Tighten that down. Great. And... Tighten that down. There. Now let's see where my action's at. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, next thing I want to just check. All of my pins is seated properly. That's good. There was a little bit of a gap, unfortunately, along the top here, even before I did this disassembly. So, that's not great. But let's go ahead and... Um, to loosen that up just a tiny touch. Does that help me any? No, it introduces blade play. That is the opposite of helping me. That is harming me. Maybe not as directly. Oh, but I just made it too tight. I can feel that now there's a little too much resistance. So I'm going to loosen it up just a little tiny scotch. No play. Beautiful. We're done. 
That was a pain in the neck. But okay, um, well, okay. <laughs> it was a pain in the hand more than anything. But I'm fine. Um, be better than me in the future there. And I hope you found this interesting at the very least. This was a very straightforward slip joint to take apart. And have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.